So I'm sitting outside Inge building, just having another coffee because it's been a long day and I need to wake up. Yeah, it's going all right. We're in the study center. It's the day before our prac is due. Things are stressful as hell out here because it's not working. And the code is semi-working. It's, it's broken. All of those lights should not be on. What the fuck? Anyway, I think we're about to rebuild most of the circuits. Most of that circuit. Are you gonna pull it out? <laughs> this is gonna hurt. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> it is uh, 12 minutes to 12. We're all very exhausted. Shit is still very broken. This is supposed to be a ping pong game. Yeah, no, that's not right. That is right. I caught it. Well, I, I played it this. <laughs> um, yeah, no, exactly. Yo, this has been an insane practical. You're still busy going. Mick over there is busy doing the OI, which is due on Monday, and then we have to test tomorrow. Now, now it's working, I can see. So basically, then I hit it back. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's nearly there. It's nearly there. I'm looking, busy. I'm looking forward to it. I'm busy working on the VHDL, the okay. code implementation of this ping pong practical. It's also broken as fuck. Keep on landing up in the same error. Can't infer register for this state because it does not hold its value outside the clock edge. Why? Um, I had a coffee though. Mika made me an amazing marker. And I'm very much awake and like eager to do active things. So still gonna be awake for a while. How goes the transfer function building? It does go. There's a shitload of series resistors because resistors don't come in messed up quantities. 9,819 ohm quantities. Yeah. So we're approximating it. We're going close enough. So we're 8 ohms off, um, 2 ohms off, 6 ohms off, and 2 ohms off again. Looks good. So, yeah, percentage wise, it's tiny errors. So we just hope that it's 2% or 5% errors. So let's find out tomorrow morning. Whether this works or not. 100% I'm excited. It should be close enough, yeah. Yeah, also I love the opera music playing here. Yeah, it's absolutely stunning. It's not opera, it's musical. It's we're not doing phantom anymore, we're doing Evita. Evita? Such culture. <laughs> Ladies, if you're looking for a man of coffee and culture and circuits, all the good seas, this is your man. <laughs> so, we have, well, not me. Stefan and Johan have successfully worked out this prac. Oh, show off, show off that beautifulness. Sends it back, holds it, sends it back, holds it. Ping pong bay, ladies and gentlemen, well done. Aren't you impressed? Is this just not the most sex appeal you've ever seen? <laughs> yes! Good morning. It's Friday morning and I have a headache. Um, so our discrete circuit is working perfectly for ERS. The VHDL implementation, my code is still broken. Johan was working on it last night. Don't know if he's got anywhere, but we have a Signals linear system tat test now on bode plots that I've done very little work for and don't understand that well. It's quite a big part of the exam, so need to catch up on it one of these days. Um, yeah, yesterday I think was the toughest day of the semester so far for me. Not the year because cars broke me down more in the beginning of the year, but it wasn't fun. Eh? You work, stress, got some family stuff going on. Um, Trying to get these pracs done, not super amazing. But it's fine, it's Friday. Fuck off, yes. Stone style is broken. It's Friday and uh, gonna be a half decent weekend. I just stopped I and had a coffee. This equation I had a, a mocha grande and God himself could not put equation. me to sleep right now. So if you divide wow. by 100, you have to multiply with 100 outside um, the road. Signals class test. And then the ones below the line, test. I divide by two, so I have to multiply this two under the line. So we're in the labs, busy working on ELI and ERS simultaneously. VHDL is still not working. Um, we're testing our filter functions and um, practical responses for Cracker Monday. Yeah. 
So uh, load shedding is a thing in South Africa. We're trying to do our electronics prac without electricity. Chris and Jason, how are you? <laughs> Yes. Not happy. Yeah, man. Fuck, it's dark in here. This shit looks like it's working, though. We'll never know. We will never know. How have you been? How was today? I never climbed into bed. You haven't slept yet? No. Okay. Wow. Hey, generators. Man, load shedding. Not a problem. Promises are something I hate breaking in this current situation. I'm an outlaw. That we could make it, but lack of communication was our downfall. Oh, oh, oh. Tell me, do you see it different from me? Were we just a fantasy you made me believe? Am I a distraction? That you... Hey, Jay. Hello. How's your circuit? We finally got it working. Well done. Do you know what the problem was? What was the problem? The power supply was off. <laughs> <laughs> Still trying to get my VHDL code to work. Um, it's kind of kind of working, I think. I think there's a big problem with my clock because the ping pong game is supposed to when you hold down like the left button, it's hold, supposed to hold it on the left side, which it is doing, and the same on the right hand side. I'm just not sure if it's moving across properly or if it's just moving so fast that the clock is fast and we can't see it. But something is up for four. Massive progress has been made. Look, it's almost working. I mean, it's kind of still broken, but it's almost working. Yes! This man right here. This man knows how to design clocks properly. Mm. <laughs> we in the labs. This, uh, it's, not, it's not working. We just didn't, like, we got 11 out of 20 because our discrete circuit, just when we plugged it into the lab um, function generator, and that now isn't, um, isn't working properly. We, I don't know what's wrong. It was working perfectly when we were using the clock on the Arduino yesterday, but it's opgefokkend. That's definitely the title of today's vlog. So yeah, 11 out of 20 to pass. We'll do well on the report. Fuck this week. My day has just been improved because I'm here with Floor and Mike riding home. How's your first year week been? It's been shit. It's been shit. <laughs> so it's not just us. And yours? No, it's terrible. That's good. That's what I want to hear. You must know, vlog. Just a fantasy you made me believe Am I a distraction that you no longer need? Keeping this together, I cannot guarantee, girl Cause when I need you most, you just wanna move further away So yeah, that's the vlog for today. Thank you for watching. Um, not super exciting, we mostly just worked on our ERS and ELI report this week. Um, it really sucked that we got such bad, well, I mean, 55% is okay, really not great marks for our practical that we put so many hours of work into. The guy who demoed us, who marked us, said, you know, rather have something go wrong disastrously like, disastrously like this now in a second year module, uh, where you learn that you really do need to constantly test on the machinery and the hardware that you're going to be demoing your, your practical and your work on, not just... Uh, make sure it works at home and then come and hope it works in the lab. You know, you actually have to test where you're going to be presenting it. And rather learn that lesson now with a less important module. Still sucks though, but um, Saturday, just doing some work. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I promise one of these days I'll get around to making a fun, exciting vlog. But in the meantime, just that engineering student lifestyle. But yeah, thank you for watching. You just wanna move further away.